floods, water's absolutely gushing in. This is normally sort of just about full, but it's really overflowing. And here the water gushing in. You, if you go surfing here, it's really, really pouring in. And of course it's bringing all this wood, which is going to trap this open. I love the sound though. You can see here it's well up over the the bank. And the actual island is underwater. So that's normally a good six, eighteen inches out of out of the lake. This path up off here is got a gate on it because it's totally underwater. Here you can see half the bridge is underwater and the actual island, again that's normally out of the water, is totally submerged. Little pie wagtail. Actually a yellow one. He doesn't seem to care about the weather. He's actually sitting on all the muck. And under that is where the lake drains, which is probably blocked. And you can see here the water pouring down. And obviously everything pours down from here. Kind of the geese are all ganging up and going for a big trip. I don't know what's going on, but... We're all sort of joining together for a gang. First Canada geese young. Everything's very late this time. Other places have had them quite a while. Maybe Canada geese, these are getting quite big. There's not a lot this time. There's some there on the lake. They're quite small. A bit of a grey lag uh, invasion. One, two, three, four, five. Five of them suddenly appeared. Some of these get quite cheeky. On the 16th of May, and all the beds on the main driveway have now been stripped. And some of them are already planted out with the summer bedding. Of course, it's not looking its best yet. <laughs> the only thing about it, this weather, is it doesn't need watering. We've had nothing but rain for weeks. <clears throat> 24th of May, and most of the summer bedding's now in. Got begonias, this is all by the bowling green. Begonias, obviously not at the best yet. 
the building so green itself is like a billiard table at the moment it's been helped by all the rain this is no no flowers but lovely colours is next to the the toilets it's a lovely spring summer colour Twenty eighth of June, and all the summer beddings now in. Take some time for this to take effect. I wonder if you can see what's wrong with this picture. If we zoom in, you perhaps notice the clock's gone. The clock tower's there, but the face is gone. Presuming it's gone away to be uh, repaired at long last. Getting ready for the uh, event on Sunday, the Pride in the Park. If we swing round, you can see there's tents. Various burger vans arriving. a banner that somebody's knitted for the uh, Pride in the Park. <laughs> Fair bit of knitting going on there. This is on the, the main uh, Broadwalk Bridge. New very big swans in the park. This is new uh, paddle boats. And they're quite big these, I wonder what the swans actually make of these. And also got dragons, I think that's what they're supposed to be. It's sunny weather, it's just what you want. A quick row around the park. I started this a couple of years ago where they are letting some of the grass go wild for the uh, put wildlife flowers in. Down by the lake there's some very pretty weeds or wildflowers depending on your point of view. Really nice in the show. Bottom of the lake, and you can see that there's still a lot of rubbish at this overflow, and you'd expect that to go down the overflow. So it's a question of whether this overflow is uh, actually blocked or not. Remember, <clears throat> remember last month how we reported how this was almost what three foot underwater. This is now reduced back to a normal flow. Look at the rubbish that's been collected there, that's come downstream. The problem with that is it has a tendency to block when you lift the gates and jam it. It's a nice sort of steady flow now.